Hello, everybody. Uh, my name is Max. If we could just uh, take a seat. There we go. Thank you. And if you wouldn't mind uh, stopping to chew on whatever that is, maybe we could uh, start this. Uh, my name's Max. Uh, thank you so much. Thought I'd do some stand-up for you today, if you don't mind. Um, so let's see. My, my fiancé is always telling me that I'm a, a grower, not a shower, um, which I recently just realized this is backhanded comment uh, that people with small penises made up to make themselves feel better. Ooh. Not, not having it yet. Um, excuse me, on the, on the right, could you, uh, could you look at me? Um, something down there that you have to, to, <laughs> to, to deal with? Um, we got some attention, there we go, thank you sir. On the left, um, is your, is, are you with your friend? Is this your friend? So I think it's a pretty shitty thing to say, so I've been trying to make myself feel better about it, thinking of like different ways to try to do this. Um, I related it to a uh, puffer fish. It's all small and cute. And then if you scare it or corner it, it becomes this big, sharp, defensive thing. <laughs> this guy knows what I'm talking about. You might be my, might be my biggest fan, huh, buddy? You are just constantly the happiest person. You, on the other hand, what? You've never heard a dick joke before? Come on. I was home about two or three years ago, um, visiting my parents in Palm Springs for winter break. I was driving home with my mom from getting a pedicure. Oh my god, they're coming right at me. Oh my, hey, ow, ow, security, security. Oh my god, they're eating me alive. I'm sorry, it was just a pedicure. What was that? You can't just run up on stage. I don't care how hot you are. All right, well, where was I? Let's see. Um, oh yeah, that's right, okay, we were talking. So I get in the car and we're talking for a while. And then she just suddenly stops talking completely. It was really strange. So I look over at her and asked her if everything was okay. And she was like, uh, yeah, um, things are fine, but I never asked you this. Um, is, everything, is everything working okay down there? Is everything fine? Um, excuse me, ma'am. Um, I'm doing a thing up here, and you're just kind of not paying attention at all. Um, is this not appropriate for you? Are you not engaged? Excuse me. You know what, like, this, this man over here is being so great, and you're just being such a about this. Excuse me, ma'am, get out of the way of the camera, please. I'm up here trying to, you know, express myself. I mean, when's the last time you did anything? When's the last time you ever even got a bath, for instance? Never? All right, sorry, let's, uh, let's get back on track. I'm really sorry. Um, I really appreciate you, sir, um, for being... Really happy to be here. We'll have to deal with that other person eventually. But um, where was it? Okay, so penis, penis, blah, 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 weird penis. Okay. Um, so anyway, I was totally freaked out by this, um, but I was also totally interested uh, because my frame of penis reference is only my penis. So I had no idea what the fuck she was trying to say. Um, so I asked her, you know, you wouldn't mind, you know, explaining this whole thing, this disaster that we have on our hands, uh, could you? <laughs> And uh, she goes, yeah, well, when you were born, the moil, and for non-Jewish people, the moil is a religious circumciser. Um, but I guess apparently he messed up. He didn't get all of it. <laughs> so I, I say, uh, you couldn't have paid them like an extra tip or something, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> okay, I guess uh, you must be a weird Iankovic fan then, I guess, right, if you don't. You must have already heard that one before or something. Is that what, what you're what you getting at, ma'am? I'm really sorry to be so upset with your friend over here. Don't take any offense. I'm just amazed how much you're into it and how little she seems to care about this. All right, I think I've completely lost my momentum, but I'll try one more time. All right. <laughs> You guys ever go to, like, gas stations or, like, supermarkets and you go to the, the condom aisle? You see, like, the Magnum condoms on the wall and you wonder, like, if I put that on, how much extra condom would kind of hang off the side of my... Are you out of your mind, dude? Chill out. I'm doing a thing up here. This is... Kittens.